collimator, collimation, collimator, collimator, collimation eyepiece. Hey, hey, if you're trying to get even better astrophotography, one thing you need to do is align your telescope. Collimation, collimating, uh, collimator, that's probably not right. But aligning your telescope using some sort of tool, maybe just your eye or maybe something like this, will help you get better photos. Let me walk you through how it works. You can buy something like this. This one doesn't use a laser. There are a lot that do use lasers that try to do it with reflection. I've opted for one that doesn't need lasers because then I don't have to worry about batteries to replace or the laser just going out. And you know, it's kind of neat to do it the old way. It looks a lot like an eyepiece. There's a set of crosshairs in there that you can kind of see. And then there's this hole here, which kind of makes it look like you should be looking down in there, but you actually look through the little hole in the back. And that helps you get a nice alignment through the whole length of the collimator, collimation eyepiece. To use it is pretty simple. You take out an existing eyepiece and you can do collimation without any eyepiece by just looking in there. What this does is give you an extra set of crosshairs for a little bit more alignment and you kind of get to see what it's like with an eyepiece in there. You want to move your eyepiece mount down into the telescope. Some people say put it all the way. I feel like this one shifts just a little bit when you get to that last bit. So what I did is I put it in all the way and then backed it out about a quarter of an inch so it would be more like how it is with an actual eyepiece in there. Then when you look in the eyepiece, what you want to see is everything all nice and lined up. But if it's been a while or you've moved your telescope a lot, it'll probably be out of alignment. And what you'll need to do is align both the back mirror and the secondary mirror. The easiest way to align the main mirror is to undo a couple of the set screws that hold it in place. And then there's these little collimation screws, adjustment screws, alignment screws, whatever you want to call them, that turn a little bit more easily. And so as you turn those, that adjusts how the main mirror reflects. The secondary mirror that you have is probably what you're actually looking at first. It's a little confusing, but that's the one up at the top of your telescope usually. And you can undo the screws there and adjust it. You have to look at your specific telescope to see. Generally involves loosening screws, making adjustments, and tightening those screws back. It's pretty simple. My tip is loosen all the screws on the bottom first, adjust those a little bit, tighten them down, adjust the secondary one, and kind of go back and forth, and you'll see that you can get everything in nice alignment. It'll take you a few times going back and forth. Do not point this at the sun. They say use a bright spot. They do not mean the brightest spot. Just a white wall, uh, just any sort of bright area is fine. But once you've collimated your telescope or aligned your telescope, you should get a little bit sharper pictures. It should improve your astrophotography, and you'll just have a better experience looking through your telescope in general. You don't need to collimate your telescope every time you use it, but every so often, especially if you've got something big coming up, it's worth just popping this in and making sure everything's still aligned uh, before you go out stargazing or uh, planet gazing. I took pictures both without a collimated telescope and with a collimated telescope. As you can see, by collimating it, it does improve the quality of the picture. And hey, that's what it's all about, is just those little incremental improvements. And so if you want to get the most out of the telescope you've got, make sure it's aligned. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, to improve your astrophotography. I've got another video talking about how to connect your Nikon camera to your telescope. That will help you get started in just basic astrophotography. It has links to all the things you need, so take a look at that. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Are there other things that you found that you wonder how they affect it? I've got some other videos uh, that I'm working on. Uh, like and subscribe, all the things, and keep an eye out for those. Have a good one.